show first we got a video with gary alexander and of course this guy knows him I'm tell gonna, us a story I, <laughs> i've known gary for a little while now i uh i met gary back in i think 2007 2008 ish uh out in las vegas nevada when i trained at extreme couture uh when i was a professional fighter uh gary worked in the inside the mma scene he also uh Worked out at Extreme Couture. He's a super fascinating guy, very, very nice guy. And uh, as I got to know him, I've always liked music, things like that. Gary was an up and coming singer songwriter, he's a country musician. He's fantastic, great guitarist, and he's got a terrific voice. He used to invite us out to come see his performances, and that's how I first saw him uh, sing. And so, I'd be honest, some of my favorite songs, uh, still on my playlist, are some of Gary's songs. He's, a, he's an incredible artist, incredible musician. And uh, over the years, after I retired from fighting, I, I started getting more into my hobby of music, playing more. And uh, just as a hobby, started singing, songwriting. Uh, I'm a terrible singer, but I enjoyed the songwriting process. And Gary, being a fantastic songwriter, I've always asked his advice. Uh, he's kind of tutored me and things like that. And, uh, you know, I'm super excited about this video. The song is uh, Get Over You. He actually sold this song in 2016 to Darius Rucker uh, for one of Darius Rucker's albums. So he's a terrific uh, musician, terrific singer. Uh, super pumped about this. Uh, here's my friend, Gary Alexander. Well, I got the word today you were moving on I couldn't stand the thought of being at home all alone So I drove on down to Charleston to see a couple of my friends We headed over to the Belmont and I fell in love again Was it the curves of a body or that southern drawl Or the way the night danced upon her skin Maybe that short summer dress with the moonlight shining through All I know is she made me get over you Well the rain came down and cleansed my soul She grabbed onto my hand and never let it go Well the street lights shine like diamonds to me and my dreams came true down there on King Street Was it the curves of a body or that southern drawl Or the way the night danced upon her skin Maybe that short summer dress with the moonlight shining through All I know is she made me get old Well, the moon came up and the fog rolled in And on the midnight streets I lost my heart again oh. Was it the curves of a body, or that southern draw, or the way the night danced upon her skin? Maybe that short summer dress, with the moonlight shining through, all I know is she made me get over you. Was it the curves of a body, or that sweet southern draw, maybe those three whiskey drinks, strong and tall?
man, you were right. That was a great video. Very yeah. good video. Of course I'm right. Which, how many times am I wrong? Okay, I'm wrong like... I mean, it is the Dustin <laughs> show today. <laughs> I, I'm wrong like nine times out of ten, but, you know, I get it right sometimes. And this dude, you know, is pretty damn good. Very good, very good. So let's just go off right into the next one, Sloan Walkers. All right, this is our video, Arms of You. Uh, it's a live performance. These guys are a good band, uh, indie rock band out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Interesting story is how Sloan Walker started was their bassist, Renee Kobar, and I were in a band, actually two bands together. Uh, I started playing in a band with a guy I met uh, from work, Mark Gray. Uh, he was a drummer. We were jamming out. Decided, you know, we wanted to maybe try uh, jamming out with like a full band. I had a couple songs, terrible songs, but... Again, I had some songs we thought maybe we'd have fun as a hobby and get a band, so I put a Craigslist ad up. Renee answered it. Uh, we were all, you know, kind of beginning, with the exception of Mark. Mark tr was a terrific musician. Uh, so we all just started jamming out, and then we started our first band. I had, uh, like, ten songs at the time we, were, we learned. And uh, then, you know, uh, Mark uh, had a problem with uh, one of our guitarists. You know, split up. It was just a hobby. It's not like we were doing it for a career or anything like that. Renee had just been playing for about a year, and he was really starting to get serious. He's younger, in his 20s. So I got a hold of uh, this metal band that was auditioning. I went over there. Of course, I didn't get it. Renee, you know, they were asked Renee to be in it. He was a much better musician than I was. Um, anyhow, he turned it down. Uh, he joined this band, Sloan Walkers, and they started working on their first album uh, to go on tour. Renee uh, hit me up uh, to tell me, you know, about the tour and stuff like that. I was super happy. I had, uh, me and Mark had doing, started doing a project. We were gonna go in the studio, work with Tom Parma, Big Hits Studio, and just record some songs. We had a singer at the time that we were gonna use. Renee came in the studio with us. Uh, Renee ended up actually recording uh, one of the vocals on one of the songs that I had wrote. Uh, he's a talented dude. Sloan Walker started growing and getting more focused and serious, so Renee focused his time on Sloan Walkers. And man, they're definitely growing. They've got more of a following now on, in the West Coast area, primarily Vegas, Arizona. But man, they're a terrific band. They definitely got their own unique style. So here they are, Sloan Walkers with uh, Alarms of Youth. <laughs> Dustin probably knows something about this guy. Okay, so <laughs> the next music video, uh, he did not send us this music video, uh, but it's from one of my favorite musicians, uh, which I have a funny story about, uh, Shooter Jennings. 
uh, son of Waylon Jennings, Shooter's a fantastic uh, musician. Uh, doesn't get probably the comeuppance that he, he deserves. Fantastic uh, country musician, kind of fringe rock. Uh, definitely original, definitely has his own style. This song they've seen makes me laugh because I know specifically he's got to be talking about Eric Church and Outlaw U. <laughs> but every time I hear it, this album was like, I think the next out, second album or very next album that he recorded when he was married to what became my ex-girlfriend. Uh, Shooter Jennings' wife, Misty, and I... So wait, so you like The Day Winner? I do, okay. I do, I do, yes. Wasn't, wasn't sure. I no, know. you know, nothing wrong with it. No. I just wasn't sure you were... <laughs> some of the things you say to me make me wonder sometimes hey man, but anyways let's get just, back to just be let's open get back. person i'm an open loving person <laughs> i don't judge all right let's get back to how you know this person okay so shooter actually met or met his wife misty uh she was a bartender at, at the rainbow which is a pretty popular spot for rock stars musicians in la uh misty was like a pseudo celebrity i grew up with misty i knew misty from high school we, uh, we met again and re uh, reconnected in Las Vegas around 2012. Uh, I was just came back from a knee injury that I had and uh, you know, I was my first fight back. We started dating shortly after that. We dated several months. She lived in LA, I lived in Vegas. And uh, so we traveled back and forth for a little while. And then I had a bad fight. I took a ridiculous fight. At the hard rock um, on me I you know I just wasn't there mentally lost was kind of a baby about it and you know my own little world hey we're all babies when we lose a fight it's I know okay. I know I know I'm, but, still, I'm still in depression mode from last week <laughs> it's okay but no I mean I, t I was kind of a jerk I handled it real immature uh, yeah, I stopped I didn't talk to Misty for like two weeks which was not fair to her uh, she was definitely a cool chick she's a freaking awesome person uh, and so that was kind of the end of our relationship. And I heard through a mutual friend, I know the pirate, uh, which we'll get into those stories that later down the road, which are fantastic stories. Dude was an interesting guy. So it guy. sounds like you're an asshole, but you still somehow know this great artist. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely an asshole. She definitely deserved better. But holy shit, when I found out she married Shooter Jennings, the next dude that after me, I was super pumped because I'm like, oh my God, that's like my favorite musician. She's one of the coolest people I've ever dated. And so to be able to be connected in that direct line is super cool. Uh, so here is Shooter Jennings with his music video, Outlaw You. <laughs> Get home from a long day, put on the radio, working for some country soul. But I don't find it, no. It's a dirt road free for all. Some old boys saying they're outlaw. They dress the part and they talk the talk. You know they've been taught to walk the walk. These boys think they're tough. They've been robbing banks. Cause they name dropped Johnny Cash. And they named her poor old Ann. Hey, pretty boy in the baseball hat. You couldn't hit country with the baseball bat. 